Hello and welcome to another iBrother production episode. Today we're going to go over some rumors about iPhone 6, talk about Apple buying Beats by Dre, and finally talk about the iWatch Apple has been working on for a while now. There is a new rumor that the iPhone 6 will be released on September 19th, which is a Friday, and Apple typically releases major new products on Fridays. Besides, the past two iPhone launches were in September. So, as far as we know, the iPhone 6 will be released in two different screen sizes, a 4.7 inch screen and then a 5.5 inch screen. It is also known that the iPhone 6 might have the design of the iPod 5th generation. The iPhone 6 might not come into a 16 gigs package, but it will come into 32 and 64 gigabytes. It might come into 128 gigabytes, but that is not for sure. After weeks of speculation, Apple confirmed just moments ago that it has reached a deal to acquire Beats Electronics and Beats Music for $3 billion. Beats co-founders Jimmy Lovin and Dr. Dre will be joining Apple, the company announced. Beats is best known for its popular lineup of headsets, speakers, and audio system, and in January launched a new streaming music service called Beats Music in partnership with AT&T. This marks the largest acquisition that Apple has ever made, divided into a purchase price of $2.6 billion and approximately $4 million that will vest over time. Apple CEO Tim Cook said, Music is a, such an important part of all our lives and holds a special place within our hearts at Apple. That's why we have kept investing in music and we are bringing together these extraordinary teams so we can continue to create the most innovative music products and services in the world. Apple will continue operating Beats Music as a subscription music service, meaning that Android and Windows Phone versions of the app will remain available following the compilation of the deal. Beats Music is now available for a 99.99 yearly subscription with an extended 14-day trial available to everyone. iTunes Radio, the streaming radio service that Apple launched last year, will also remain available. So let's talk about the iWatch. It is rumored that the smartwatch is set to go into mass production next month and is likely to be an October launch. It's rumored that the device will feature a 2.5 inch display and wireless charging capabilities and will have a built-in sensor that will be capable of monitoring a user's pulse. We're not sure if a device will be going to be round, curved or if it's even gonna look like a watch at all. Some have speculated that it could look more like a Nike fuel band. Apple has spent the last two years hiring experts from various fitness and medical fields and trying to make this device the best there will be out there. So we'll be waiting to, uh, for October to see what the device will actually look like and we'll see if it's the best out there. So. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. This is actually one of our first news videos and uh, I hope I will get better as we go. Also, subscribe to our channel and like this video and comment below what we should improve and how we did. Thank you for watching again and uh, see you guys next time. I'm Bogdan for iBrothers Productions.